Good morning, everyone. Morning. You have a beautiful morning here. I hope everybody enjoying the breakfast. I um, I want to start. This is um, the month of February, though. You know, we have Valentine and so on. So I was making rounds in one of the local hospitals, and then um, I was going across the uh, a hold to monitor. You know, the, the hold to monitor that can then record the heartbeats. You know, and I'm looking into the diary of this patient and trying to correlate whatever heart rhythm problems that are happening at this particular time, see if we can help this patient. So here's the diary goes, 12.05, lunch tray comes in. 12.15, wife comes in for a visit. And I see a big smile. And then after that, a little note that says, no hanky-panky. And then there is noise all over the place on the halter and then a pause. This gentleman ended up getting a pacemaker. And I said, why are you doing this? I said, well, I really wanted to check my heart. So anyway, he's doing very well, by the way. <laughs> we got our hands on the pulse of what's happening, Hernando, what's happening probably, you know, in the global world. We're trying to get this with, and invariably, to get a positive message in a time of, you know, maybe doom and gloom, everybody's stressed out, this economy, this and that. Well, we're trying to uplift people and give them pumping. Pump up people with good things. Uh, you see the, the beating heart on 50 at night. This is just saying hello to everyone going to work or coming from work at night. There's still, you know, people out there that care about you. Still a love message. And we have a beautiful team. I'm only giving five minutes. I'm trying to give the credit to the people who really make this happen. I can't do this by myself. We thank God first for enabling us to make this happen, providing us with the food that we have. Everybody, by the way, is invited for next month's mixer. You and your friends and family come and have a great time in Brooksville Cardiology. So a part of the message here is first to be connected on a daily basis, on minute by minute, through the technology. We have a website, brooksvillecardiology.com, that really has been revolutionized. Uh, over the, this is the third generation that you're going to see. And I want to give credit to the people who really helped us um, to, to make this happen. And the visual spectrum folks, I really want to give a big hand to them. Dave, Maria, and Henry. Uh, Maria, stand up, please. Okay, here she is. <laughs> and with this stuff, Ron, the drums with the music background, we have the honored by being the best business of the year, and we continue to strive to maintain that, which is kind of tougher than reaching out there. With wonderful staff, I brought my boss over here. This is the other, this is um, Dr. Aline, Mrs. Aline, who uh, not only the boss at home, but the boss at work, she managed to have five days out of seven days fresh food, believe it or not, actually cook fresh food five out of seven, a minimum, and keep clean clothes on. So my hat goes out to her. We have wonderful staff, including seniors advocate. And Jeannie, please stand up tall, because this is the people who really make the difference. Jeannie Summerfield has been a, a patient advocate and a volunteer in Brookfield Cardiology. We have a separate department, civil rights department, have to do with seniors' rights. We have a radio show that started two and a half months ago, Seniors' Rights. And we have the world's greatest sheriff, Sheriff Nugent. I don't know if he made it this morning, was on the show. We have, you know, um, Really, uh, a, a, um, uh, a lot of people who are dedicated to be patients advocates and to go out and calm people in, in the time where, what should I do, what insurance, and so on. So in, in our practice, we have people helping people. This is not your average practice. And we have a whole new concept in healthcare delivery. Uh, all your cardiovascular internal medicine needs, all is going to be one stop place to get the care. It's not really shops, you know. So, uh, but it is a care delivery. So this is a whole new concept. You come, you get served, and it's not about business, it's not about money, it's about justice. So the justice, I'm going to simplify with four of my miracle patients. Judy, stand up, and we'll go in the chronological.